Now, could providing a designated room for addicts to take drugs save lives? The charity Transforms putting in a mock-up of a drug consumption room at the Colston Hall in Bristol today, and they're having a debate this evening. Now, at the moment, drug consumption rooms aren't legal, but the idea is championed by several groups, and it has been tried in some other countries. OK, let's talk to Mark Shelford. Uh, Mark is the Conservative candidate for Police and Crime Commissioner in Avon and Somerset. Mark, uh, good morning to you. I know you're not particularly a fan of these rooms, are you? Um, good, good morning, Emma. Uh, thank you very much for having me on your show. No, I'm not. And my overriding concern uh, about this is to protect children from harm. And drugs must not be seen as normal or right. Having said that, a, a, a young death from a drug-related uh, death such as an overdose is a tragedy. And uh, I've done a little bit of study into drug consumption rooms. I'm not, I'm not an expert, but um, there are issues with drug consumption rooms. Um, and they can form the centre of antisocial behaviour and a honeypotting for drug dealers. And um, this is borne out by one of the early uh, drug consumption sites, which was in Vancouver. Uh, Professor Mangum did quite a big study on that and found there were a number of issues, and not only about the honeypotting for drug dealers selling drugs, but also um, about the fact that addicts don't travel across town to get to the consumption rooms. What, what would you do? They're also, uh, so um, my, my view uh, on this is that we need to put a priority on prevention and treatment. They're, they're very, they can be very expensive. They run 24-7. Um, they're, they're manned by medical staff. And if this is the case, I prefer to spend my money on prevention and treatment rather than maintaining the habit. And Maggie, my would that work? As, well, well you, me, I think as Mark says, it's not a, a magic bullet to, to sort out all kind of problems related to um, people in, injecting drugs, but it's a, a practical and humane response to a reality that we see in our cities where we do have people who are using drugs in public toilets, um, doorways, um, and, and that's, you know, it, 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 we surely should be a better society than that. And 11 countries which can't be wrong, Mark. Uh, well, that, that's I, I'm, I'm 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 listening. Um, I am um, not convinced yet. Um, mm -hmm. This government is doing a review to develop a strategy for all aspects of addiction, in, including gambling, uh, under uh, Dame Carol Black of the BMA. And I want to wait until this review has reported for the evidence before I make up my mind. I'm listening to the arguments. Mm -hmm. But at this stage, I'm not convinced. And frankly, as, as PCC, um, I would make it a priority to go after the heads of the drug gangs um, that run country lines, and particularly those gangs that target... County children. lines. County lines, yes. Sorry, county lines. So how tough would your stance on drugs be if you were to become the police and crime commissioner? Well, my, my stance is going to be about taking the taking the leadership of these drug gangs down rather than uh, the, the the person uh, necessarily taking the drugs because that's people have been trying to do that for years though mark and they it, they can't do it they, these are organized crime gangs that you can't just you know nip out and knock on someone's door and say stop doing that young man it, it, it's, it's need, bigger than that work, we really really need to work harder at it and and that's where i put my effort Thank you for being on the show. Mark Shelford, Conservative candidate for Police and Crime Commissioner in Avon and Somerset. And before that, Maggie Telfer from the Bristol Drugs Project. So we're talking about what some people refer to as drugs consumption rooms. Maggie um, would like them to be called safe injection. Safer injecting sites. Safer injection sites. Um, so a mock-up one of these rooms is going to be on display at the Colston Hall in Bristol uh, today. There are also various stores on drug policy and there'll be a debate taking place at the Colston Hall this evening. We'll have more on this uh, just after eight o'clock this morning.